What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Clark Hazlitt, better known as Adventure Athlete. And as y'all can see here, this is my game day backpack. And in this video, I'm gonna get a chance to show y'all all the football gear that you need in your backpack on game day. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. What's up guys, before we get into the video, I just wanna say thank y'all so much for showing so much love and support in my past two videos. As you guys can see right here and right here, y'all showed so much love and support in regard to the 10 accessories that y'all need for practice and on game day. So I just wanted to stop and say thank you so much for the support, as well as good luck to all you guys who got games tonight. With that said, let's get right into the video. Here. And before we get into the video, I just want y'all to take a look at this bag. This is a super dope bag. Big shout out to Jordan Brand. It's got a spot where I can put my cleats, which also has some ventilation because y'all know my cleats probably smell super bad after the games. But basically this bag acts as a duffel bag that y'all can carry like this, but it also has this backpack configuration with the strap. So this is a really dope bag that I always take with me whenever we're traveling. So I definitely would recommend y'all get this style of backpack slash duffel bag so that you can pack everything you need in your bag. I decided to break this video down by showing y'all everything that's kind of at the top of my backpack to then what's in the middle of my backpack to then what's at the very bottom of my backpack. And basically everything in this bag is gonna help me be able to one, travel really well, as well as two, Two, making sure that I'm feeling clean and comfortable post game. Now let's get right into what is inside my game day backpack. Oh. All right guys, so the first items in my backpack are pretty much the ones that are really small that I really gotta make sure I don't lose. Starting with my AirPods. I'm always rocking my AirPods, getting a chance to listen to my music. For those of you guys who haven't checked out my Spotify link, it's gonna be right down here. Y'all can get a chance to hear what my game day banger playlists are like as well as the next item is going to be my miniature gopro this is what i use to shoot all of my game day vlogs this camera is the best because it's so small and super compact and it really helps me get all the dope behind the scenes footage these two items are located right here in this top pocket in my backpack so i make sure that i don't lose them so major key both airpods or headphones just in general and a gopro for all y'all that are trying to shoot game day vlogs now let's move on to the next couple of items in my bag. And as an athlete, whenever you're traveling, especially when you're on an airplane, you're always gonna get dehydrated. So I've got some coconut water in here. I got some Pedialyte in here, as well as I got my favorite Gatorade in here that I try to make sure that I drink before every game. I don't drink all three of these, but I just wanted to show you all three options that you guys can pick from to one really make sure you guys are staying hydrated. At the end of the day, I really love Pedialyte. I don't know about y'all. Comment down below if you guys like Pedialyte. But recently, I also have really been getting into coconut water. Gatorade's always been a go-to, so. The Glacier Cherry is my top favorite, and I'm actually kind of thirsty right now, so I'm gonna take a little sip, hold on. <sighs> All right, so now that we got the liquids, it's time for the good good. I always make sure I'm snacking on some peanut butter pretzels before the game as well as a bag of fruit snacks. Big shout out to Winco for always hooking it up. But there's more. One of my favorite snacks that I always like to eat is fruit cups, and I like to go with grapefruit. It just kind of takes me back to my childhood days, but uh, these are always one of my go-to favorite snacks. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> fun fact. All right, but wait, there's more. During a game, I don't know about y'all if you have a snack during halftime, but I always make sure I snack on a Fit Crunch bar during halftime of the game. So I always make sure I pack this in my bag because after the first two quarters of the game, you always need something to help refuel you and to help you get ready for that third quarter and fourth quarter. So we are now officially done with the snacks. Let's now see what else we got in the bag. The next item is kind of small, but it is a very big necessity and that is ibuprofen. I don't know about y'all, but I take about five ibuprofen before every single game because it always helps make sure I get my body right. I recommend you guys talk with your parents and or your doctor about how much ibuprofen you should be taking depending on your body type. But ibuprofen just really helps with those little small aches and pains that you guys might be feeling before a game or if you're beat up after a long weeks of practice. Like I said, make sure you guys are talking to your parents and or your doctor to figure out how much ibuprofen you should be taking or whether or not you should be taking ibuprofen at all. That's just a little disclaimer right there. Let's now move on to the next item. The next item in my bag is a major key especially for after the game when y'all get the dub, and that is a mini speaker. There's nothing better than post game after getting a win with your teammates and getting a chance to bump to some bangers in the back of the bus. As well as for some of you guys, you might be able to bump to a speaker before the game. I know a lot of guys prepare differently for games. There's those dudes that are super serious and quiet before a game. And then there's other guys that are just head bopper bangers that really just like to get pumped and listen to music. At the end of the day, a portable speaker is always awesome to have because there's nothing better than getting a chance to bump with your brothers. Let's now move on to the next item that's in my backpack. 
The next two items are very self-explanatory. You got yourself your good old iPhone charger as well as a portable charger because y'all know those yellow school buses do not have any plugins. Y'all are blessed and you're riding in a charter bus. Well, you probably might not need a portable charger. And then lastly, y'all got your notebooks for the game plan so you can get a chance to review it whenever you're on the bus. This is definitely something I recommend that y'all have. If you guys don't have a notebook or if you're not taking notes consistently on the plays or each game plan for each week, you definitely need to do so. It's always good to make sure you guys are reviewing all of your assignments for that specific week while you're on the bus getting ready for the game. We now have officially concluded what's in the top third of my backpack and now we're moving into the middle area which is going to be a little bit more bigger and bulkier stuff. Starting out with some slides. As y'all can see here, I'm rocking some Jordan slides. These are definitely good to have after a game because y'all are probably rocking some hopefully dope shoes. I don't know if you guys dress up for games or not, but after a game, your feet just sweated out the whole night in those cleats. You definitely want to get a chance to let them air out and rock some slides. We also got here, oh my goodness. This is my dog, Sophia. <laughs> Uh, she's a beagle. Make sure y'all stay tuned because I'm going to be getting a dog here real soon. Comment down below if y'all think I should get a dog or not. But this is a pillow. Unfortunately, I lost my neck pillow. I have one that pops up right here. And that's typically what I carry with me on game day. So I had to bring out my dog, Sophia, the little baby pillow. She's so cute. As an example for you guys, because you all are definitely going to want to bring a pillow of some sort. Because if you guys got those long bus rides, you're definitely going to want to get a chance to just relax and kick back after a win. Also, for those of you guys that sit in the back in that emergency exit, the pillow is always a good go-to because you can fold that seat up and you basically got your own bed. Now, let's get rid of that and let's dive into the next item, which is going to be an empty water bottle. Right here, I got the Gridiron Glove official water bottle. Let me know if y'all ever want to see these drop and you can get a chance to cop one. But... Why I put an empty water bottle in my backpack is because y'all saw earlier the liquids that you guys will be drinking pre-game, but by the end of the whole night, by the time you get on the bus and you're headed home, you should have drank all of the liquids that you have packed with you. So you have your water bottle that you can fill up post-game, and then when you're traveling to the game, this thing isn't going to be loaded up with water and it's not going to be adding that extra weight to your bag. So that's why I always pack an empty water bottle that after the game I can fill up and then I got with me so I can make sure I'm staying hydrated post-game. Let's now move on to the next item. And I got a little secret here for y'all. Something that's kind of exclusive, but it just really helps make sure my bag smells great. And that is some dryer sheets. I don't put in the actual cardboard box, but basically dryer sheets, for those of y'all who don't know, are just little sheets. I put like two or three of these inside my bag, and it just helps the overall smell of the bag, especially post-game when things can get kind of smelly. So I definitely recommend y'all picking up some dryer sheets and putting like two or three in your bag just to help it smell good. Next, we got the last item in the middle third of my backpack, and that is your own gridiron glove. For those of y'all that don't know, your boy's starting up his own company, and the gridiron glove is basically a football training aid that bridges the gap between the difficulty and discomfort involved in catching a full-size football. I packed this bad boy in my bag because I never want it in my actual football duffel bag because it can get beat up real easily. And this is still a first prototype, but make sure you guys stay tuned because for my senior project, I'm going to be releasing 200 units of the Gridiron Glove. So if you want to cop one and potentially become a product tester and work with me, stay tuned for that. Actually, leave a comment down below if y'all are interested in potentially being a Gridiron Glove tester. And with that said, let's now move on to the next items in the bag. We are now almost at the very bottom of my bag. As you guys can see here, this thing is pretty much flat now. And what we got on the bottom of the bag is your go-to lotion, deodorant, wait for it, wait for it, your shampoo, and wait for it, your towel, because post-game, y'all are definitely gonna wanna get a chance to shower, unless you live super close to wherever you're playing at. But if you guys got a, like a two to three hour bus ride back home, y'all are definitely gonna wanna shower. And then after you shower, you're gonna wanna be feeling nice and comfy. So what I got down in here is a nice little hoodie that I'd be rocking post-game to make me feel nice and comfy. Then I also got a nice pair of Nike Tech Fleece sweatpants that I'm rocking, as well as just a nice little pair of shorts that I'd be rocking under those sweatpants. Y'all definitely gotta be feeling nice and comfortable after the game. And that's most important that you also be smelling good with all your nice shampoo, deodorants, and your lotion to make sure you're getting your body right. With that said, fellas, that is just about everything that is in my bag. But lastly, as y'all can see right here, I always be packing my cleats in my game day backpack because I don't want them getting messed up in my actual game day duffel bag that goes under the bus. So you know you know how I'm rocking. I got my OBJs. 
are the last thing in my backpack. I always gotta make sure I keep these things right. I am wearing these this season, not whenever we're playing on grass, but uh, make sure y'all stay tuned because I might be giving these away at the very end of the season. But these are for sure my favorite cleats I've ever had and they're my go-to. So with that said, fellas, that is everything that is in my game day backpack that I take with me. I hope this video helps give you guys some ideas on different things that you can pack in your game day backpack that can ultimately help your travel experience better as well as make sure you're having a good time with all of your brothers out there. Like I mentioned earlier, I look back and I think about those times on those bus rides whenever we got the dub coming home. Those were probably one of my favorite memories, just getting a chance to hang out with my brothers and listen to some music in the back of the bus. For all you guys that are playing tonight, good luck in your games, and thank you all so much for showing love and support. I'll be seeing y'all in a couple days in the next video. Yeah.